Good afternoon and welcome to another of my walking films. Today I'm about halfway between the villages of Hartford and Winsford in Cheshire. And today my aim is, as much as possible, to walk along the River Weaver. So I'm going to go to the left from here and basically we're going to turn up to um, a place called Wharton, uh, which is very close to Winsford, and then sort of double back on ourselves and then, as I say, we're going to loop back down towards the river and then, as I say, pick it up again uh, right along the riverbank. So can't wait to show you around. Now, with a lot of the River Weaver, there's something called the Weaver Navigation, but basically it is what allowed a lot of the heavy industry and shipping down the river. So basically, if you want a better phrase, they kind of dug it out, but sort of made it a bit more like a canal. But anyway, that is the way we are going to head. So really excited, never been down here before. Really got the feeling of spring here, absolutely lovely. So I think we're going to be for about two, two and a half K down the side of the Weaver here. Then as I say, turn into the village of Wharton and back again. So uh, you can really tell spring's just on its way. Lovely. They do do very heavy industry around here. Uh, this is one of the uh, salt plants. So quiet and peaceful, and you've got this huge complex. Ah, this is where Cheshire gets its salt from to uh, do the roads. <laughs> now I realise. So basically what they've done to the River Weaver in quite a lot of places is literally basically sort of reinforce the sides, give it a more prominent direction, and uh, obviously make it easier to do things like dredge it. Uh, but one of the plus points is, as I say, it means it's these really great sort of towpaths along the side. So uh, you're right next to the river. It's wonderful. I really like this. Salt mine and vacuum plant. Wow. So uh, as I say, you can just have a little pause on this. Just have a look, but uh, that's really nice. Really telling you what's going on in the area. Now you do not normally get this close to a heron. Wow. Not bothered at all. Right, so this is Winsford Rock Salt Mine, so yes it is still working and um, they do use the salt here basically for de-icing. There's that heron just flying back in again. It's incredible, as I say. By the way, it's really good for fish around here because, as I say, there's loads of these birds called cormorants and they're well into uh, their fish, so uh, if they're around you know it's good. Now there's a lot of this around here. You can tell, obviously, a lot of it's reclaimed land and that's absolutely brilliant. But you find things like these little lakes inland from the actual river that they've uh, created. So, uh, yeah, it's brilliant what they do around here and the management of this. Uh, that is massive. That's obviously from one of the mines around here. Good grief. Again, out of the blue, just a massive complex. Uh, I don't mind it, you know, it is the differences, but you can just see how much management is going on here with the land. And I mean it, things like those birds of cormorants, it just shows it's a really clean river. Right, we just come to a sign. We're just going to take a right. I'll tell you what, this bench, you give it a couple more months, all that uh, growth, that'd be an amazing view. I like it anyway. Okay, so we come to this wide junction, but I want to keep following the river, so we're going to go down here. Lovely shot there of a great crested grebe again. Another one that really thrives in a clean environment. So that's great to see. Off oh, there you go. <laughs> Took a while to get that shot. <laughs> Seems to be following me down. <laughs> but as I say, I know the views might not be brilliant in some respects, but look at this, I'm seeing a great crested grebe. It's just a really nice way to spend an afternoon. It's fantastic. If you look really closely as he's sort of moving along, you could see he was bobbing his head there. It's like he's got his iPhone uh, headphones on or something. <laughs> he's got some tunes on. Sunday afternoon, oh, I'm going to go down the Weaver. <laughs> but I love seeing wildlife in its proper environment, if you get what I mean. Right, after about 50 minutes, we have just come back onto the Weaver Way again, which basically goes up to in uh, uh, that direction uh, through what's known as the Mersey Forest. 
So anyway, we're heading on down here towards Winston. You can already hear the amount of life that's uh, rattling around in this remnant of the Mersey Forest, but fantastic to hear. And it's great to see how many people are out today as well. Now, literally after one hour and uh, 3k, we come to the Red Lion, just in Wharton. So um, what I'm going to do, just because of the weather today uh, and the last few days, uh, a lot of the paths are pretty impossible. So I'm going to follow up um, Wharton Road uh, for about a kilometre or so. Right, so here we are, Wharton Park Road. So as I say, about 15 minutes or so on this, but there's a good reason for it. Right, so you just come to this roundabout and I'm going to say we're just going to keep left. Right, just at uh, McDonald's and Morrison's. We're just going to follow that car down there for about 500 metres. There's the car park there as well that you could use actually to uh, pick up on this walk. There's um, loads of car places around here so I couldn't help but pop in. I think I found the only one that I might be able to afford. <laughs> that is a lot of motors. Wow. <laughs> okay, so just down here, Coalport Drive. Just take a right up and follow this round. There's a little blue sign to the left as well. Right, so we just come out of the close and we're just going to follow this through a few hundred metres. So we've just come from there, over here at the roundabout, and we're going to follow that sign to Northwich, the A5018. And this is, say, is Walton Park Road. So for about another 500 metres. Right, that's where Morrison's make things. I always wonder why supermarkets make things. Well, there's one of them. So anyway, good. Uh, Good spot, but we're now going to go left down this track here, Smoke Hall Lane. So just straight on down here. Right, we just come to the corner here and we're just going to keep following the track on the left. One hour 40 in, we just come to here, it's about 5.6k and we're just going to go straight ahead. A bit of a mall through uh, some industry there, but this is why I've come this way. Peace and tranquility again. Well, let's hope that uh, farmers like these here uh, can try and rescue something from this uh, awful flooding we've had. Uh, so let's hope. Right now, my car is just parked down there. This is called Nidri's Lane. I love it. But anyway, we're going to take a right up this lane. Uh, into the little village of Moulton, then take a left. Very cute. <laughs> right, we've just come into the village of Moulton, and we've just come to these signs here, so we're going to take a left. So about 2 hours 15 and uh, 7.2k. Just straight up here, keep going. Okay, just over 7.5k and 2.5 and hours. Uh, we're just going to go straight ahead down the track here. It's absolutely lovely by the way. We're meeting some really nice people too. <laughs> it's great, isn't it? Okay, after about 1.1 kilometres, we just come to this sign here, and what we're going to do is take a left. I'm really enjoying this. Oh man, it's really oldie worldy this. But just looking to the left, <laughs> this isn't. Whoa, bit of a racetrack this. This is the uh, West Coast Main Line, so we're just going to cross over that. This is a bit of a hope for the best. Uh, I can sort of see the track goes around the corner there because uh, unfortunately the rest of the field's pretty waterlogged. So, uh, well, I've got to give it a go. Right, there is a path mark through here. It's a bit more over to the left, but I'm trying to be as respectful as I can and I'm practically walking in the woods here. So uh, I'm just keeping to the right of this field. Right, okay, so I've sort of gone to the far right of the field, so I'm now just circumnavigating the bottom, but I hope all this isn't lost, I really do. But look here, you can see where the water's run, so that's not a good sign, is it? it it's just like a river down here. Right, found it at the bottom there, but as I say, I'd rather have done what I did. I didn't want to be worrying about destroying things because the path has just completely disappeared. And here are the 
amazing Vale Royal locks. You can cross them as well. So as I've said before, this river was actually re-engineered for bigger boats. These do still work, by the way, as well. Wow, old school engineering. Love it. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that. Supposedly otters have been spotted around here as well. If we saw one of them, I'd just go bonkers. But anyway, 9.7k in and three hours. As I say, completely different, new area for me. Absolutely loving this. So a nice straightforward about 20 minute walk back, about 1.3k. So let's go. Oh, the evening's just drawing in really nicely. This is absolutely lovely. So that's the river to the right, and again you can just see all the land management that's going on here. There's this amazing lake to the left, so we're actually kind of walking through the middle of it. What's been really nice today is actually kind of being able to see behind all the flora and fauna and see what's here. Um, but you can just tell already it's so alive, it's brilliant. Brilliant. And here I am now, finally back at the start. So that was 11.5k um, and 3.5 hours. Bearing in mind though I film, so comfortably I reckon about 3 hours. But that was a really enjoyable day out around Winstrad and Moulton uh, on the River Weaver. Thanks very much for joining me.